What's up? Tea party in the place to be. This is Christian Edward. Uh, anti brainwash because I, I like, you know, most people are brainwashed when I first meet them, and that's my job is to kind of anti brainwash them so they can kind of exist in my own uh, world. Uh, so, anyway, welcome to my world. This is, uh, you know, my YouTube channel. Uh, you can, you know, browse all of my videos. I have a ton of videos on there. I've I've had some mishaps. Uh, we're now kind of just picking ourselves up from the uh, the dust. Um, the dust I I is now beginning to settle, and the truth is beginning to be revealed. And uh, hopefully, uh, my innocence will very soon be uh, pretty pretty blatantly obvious to everyone. Uh, so anyway, uh, what we're gonna do is I, I wanted to talk about the tea party for a moment. And I want I want to just let you know that I I was really like one of the original tea partiers, okay? Because like like ten years ago, all right, I'm like, man, we're getting taxed to death, and I mean, it's nothing like we were getting before, you know. It, we're now having to deal with with taxation like you would not believe. It, nothing like we're dealing with like right right now. And what did they do? I, they these people, what they did, they had uh, a, a a tea party. What is the tea party? They had a tea party. Did they did they sit around and drink tea? How many people think that they sit around and drink tea? Put it put a comment down there. All right, right now before you keep going because I'm not going to give you the answer. All right, they didn't they didn't sit around and 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 drink tea. All right, they went to war, man. They had a war. They were like, man, this tea is you know they threw this stuff off and that was the last straw for them and then that was the last straw for the king because the king was a little bit tired of his his slaves, you know, not doing what they were told because he was making lots of money off of them and we had a war. We said we want to have we want to be free, okay, because we were slaves back then. And that's one of the things that, you know, if somebody else is your authority, you're a slave. Hello? These people are public servants, folks, okay? So the Tea Party needs to be about the Constitution. Now, if you're not in this Michelle Bachman uh, con constitutional caucus, okay, this thing is either going to take over the House or, or, or it's not. I mean, it'll or it'll go away. It's either going to take over the House or it'll go away because what's going to happen is if you're not in the Constitutional Caucus, you're going to get voted out. Now, I want to talk to communists and socialists and, like, a lot of Democrats right now, okay? First of all, you're scary. You're very scary, okay? Now, they call us, like, terrorists and stuff like that. You're scary, okay, because you, like, want to take away all of our rights. I don't understand. And you want to give them to some other government body and this other government body is then going to tell us which rights we can enjoy what are you doing now i want to know now now many of you have followed my channel you've seen that i've talked to lots of public servants and i've pretty much proven without too much of a shadow of a doubt that none of the public servants right now in our government almost almost zero of them have ever read the constitution they don't care about the constitution yet they've taken an oath to it okay now the communists and the socialists probably never even read it either okay a lot of our people that say oh i love the constitution man i hadn't really actually read the thing until about two three years ago and i said yeah the constitution how many how many how many of you are guilty of that same thing have you read it Okay, so the communists and liberals, if you would just read it, just it's only five pages long. Just read it. It says we got some rights and stuff. We can do this stuff as long as we're not hurting anybody else. And that's what the Constitution says. The, if you're in for communism or socialism, they're going to make you a new one. All right? It's going to look really cool, but uh, you're not going to like it, the implementation of it. Okay? So, the Tea Party needs to be about the Constitution. The Constitution was written as pretty much as a result of the Tea Party. We had a revolution and we became free and we said, look, these are the shackles that we're going to place on our government because we're the kings and we're the queens. And, and, and I broke into this stuff, like I said, I got really upset and, 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 and now I'm, I'm trying to calm down, but I want people to understand that we won a major victory okay and we can do this we can be at war and be peaceful about it okay and 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 go to battle all right in and, and and actually have a new party 
And what I would really like to see is because I would like to see it be like the Tea Party and, and the Republican Party. And those are the only two parties that are, that are going to be, you know, and let's have, let's have that. You know, let's, we want freedom, you know. There's the Republicans going, we want freedom and we want limited government, you know. And the Tea Party will be like, no, we really want freedom and we really want limited government. And that's the only argument. It's going to be who's lying about what limited government they want. So um, the Democrats, I don't know how many times they, like, keep, you know, saying we want limited government. I, I don't really hear it that much. But, like I said, I mean, I'm just for individual rights. So, rights is like, you know, the right, the right is for my rights. I, I don't know, I just kind of think about it that, that way. So, we just need to just co-opt the entire Republican Party. Are you a Tea Party member? You're not a Tea Party member? Oh, well, you're going to have to go. So, let's just start getting rid of these people. And we also got to start holding them accountable, too. So, definitely go ahead and do that and start uh, getting more people involved and, and get people to read the Constitution. Read the Constitution. We need to get them to read it. Not just say, hey, we need to elect people who support the Constitution. Actually, see, because if you read the Constitution and then maybe one day you're like listening to this guy and you go, wait a minute, I read the Constitution and that dude is like totally, that's not in the Constitution. Mitt Romney. Let's talk about Mitt Romney for a minute. We need to take this guy out, out of the picture, like, early, media-wise, okay? Media-wise. I'm not talking about anything all right, crazy, okay? I'm, you know, not, not terroristic or anything. We have to actually uh, tell people that this guy's a fraud because he, he just said that, oh, the state can take away our rights but not the federal government, okay? And this thing about health care, he said, well, how is, your, how is your thing different from Obamacare, that thing you did in Massachusetts? He says, well, uh, well, the state can take away your rights, but not the, the I mean, you listen to it, he says something else, but the, the bottom line there is, is that the state can take away your rights, but not the federal government, all right? That is not the case. Read the Tenth Amendment. Read the Tenth Amendment. I'm not going to, I'm not going to quote it for you. You go and read the Tenth Amendment. There, it says, and not prohibited by it to the states, notwithstanding. That means the states can't do it too. Okay, so figure it out. All right, go there, read that, and you'll see that those are the rights that we gave to everyone. And we made sure that no authority could go in and tell you how to live your life. No authority, including the state. And, and that's that's the big secret that, that, that a lot of people don't want you to know about. That's what the FBI doesn't want you to know about. That's why they want to destroy my credibility so that people won't listen to me. But why is that bad? If people just listen to me and then we want to be free. We just want to be free and happy and everybody's going to be like, you know, jumping around and, and, and you know, dancing and, and blowing bubbles in a field somewhere. Oh my God! Oh my God! That would be that would be terrible, man. Anyway, so till next time.